Hi everyone, Lori Marie here, mixed media artist in Vallejo, California. A couple of days after Christmas, back on the table playing. Uh, my sister and my niece are in Arizona visiting my dad, and they will be back in a couple of days, so I'm taking full advantage of having the house and the table to myself. So, so today, oh my goodness, I don't know if any of you have had a book completely fall apart but my one of mine did and so I could not go any further until I put it back together so I put it back together with a four needle Coptic binding okay so I have a video on the Coptic binding I'm just going to fast forward through the uh, the four needle because it's uh, the same thing as the gorgeous Coptic binding video <laughs> that I've posted in the past I'll leave a link to that uh, and uh, the four needle is kind of little little so <laughs> go back to the other video and if you choose to do a four needle it's just two and two so it's just like the Coptic binding only you're just doing it twice at one time so see how that turns out uh, mine turned out great and uh, fumble fingers as it was that's okay so I put the book back together it is a freestanding book now it does not close it uh, stays open so you can see the front which is the Frankenstein front and then the uh, center I played with some rust paste which was very fun and then the back page has the matchbox uh, drawers in it so it's a complicated book and it is not finished yet I've got a few things that I need to do to it a couple of empty pages uh, to play in so lots more fun to have in that book but now it's gonna stay together so, what an adventure we're going to go on together. See ya on the table. All right, our project for today is a little bit complicated. I had a book that um, lost all of its pages. This is, the glue is not quite dry yet here. But it lost all of its pages, so I just uh, tore everything out and created a book on this side. So this is a standing book. It will be displayed like this with all sides showing because it is the Frankenstein front. It is a Coptic stitch putting the book back together, which I think is lovely. We're going to work on this rusted page, which is very, very fun. Here's the back of the book with all of our little windows and our drawers that we've done in previous videos together. Put something in those. I'll bring this book back when, when it's all finished. And then the waterfall page on the back. So there's still quite a bit of uh, playtime left in this book, but I had to rescue it from itself. So what you are going to need for today is a book that's falling apart, if you have one. And I used some rust paste. I will put the, um, this is, uh, Art extra extravagans made in Hungary. How about that? And it's Prima Marketing. So I will put the link to that paste on there if you choose. A uh, couple of I used a four needle Coptic binding, so I had four large eyed needles and some hemp twine for that, and a drill that I used to, to drill the holes in all the pages. Mm, stays on ink. That's about it. Okay gang, you all remember this book, right? With the uh, Frankenstein. Well, it ha it's falling apart, coming away from the spine. And I know I can patch that with the uh, brown paper bags, but I really want to try something different. So I am just going to cut everybody out of the book, which is... <laughs> pretty easily done. So I'm just going to go through the book and remove that, that spine, that netted area where they're connected. Just go through your book. This has been mended. 
we're just gonna go in there and tear it up. So this is what I'm left with, is this beautiful back. <clears throat> I'm going to cut this, all this stuff off here. And we'll see what we come up with, okay? Alright, I have all the pages out of the book. I'm going to create a template for the holes because I'm going to be doing a Coptic stitch. I'm going to go kind of deep into the book, about three quarters of an inch in. <clears throat> so I'm going to go in an inch and three inches. Come in the other side, come in an inch, and three inches. And that's where I'm going to make the holes for the Coptic. I'm going to be working with four needles at a time. So I'm going to punch holes here for my template, bringing in my crocodile, and just popping holes there. four holes. And then, what's next? I'm bringing my pages back in. I have my book arranged the way I would like it. Any of the folds out, fold outs need to be extended out, otherwise they will get caught in the hole maker, which is my drill. I'm going to clamp these together. One clamp on. I'm making sure everything is pretty even. Put the next clamp on. I'm going to clamp that template in place. I'm going to bring my drill in. I have a 3 16 drill bit here and I'm going to drill holes where those template holes are. I have a piece of wood underneath my book to protect my workspace. Four very nice holes and only one hole in my workspace. Not bad. <laughs> so I have my book ready to bind. I'm going to use four needles. This will be interesting. Never done this before. So I'm going to take about nine feet of twine, my hemp twine, for each side. Put a needle on each end.
Now I want the book to be attached to the front of this book, our Frankenstein book, which I think is perfect. So let's drill some holes in there. Okay, so the book is bound here, which is gorgeous. What I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this to the back spine, make this a little bit stronger. So I'll put glue right here and glue that to that empty spine area. Alright, I'm going to take a thin piece of cardboard and my bingo sheet and I'm going to take this to my cuddle bug. Beautiful. And I think I'll put bingo. No, I'll put some numbers there. That's okay with me if they're upside down. And I'll run that through the cuddle bug again. All right, this is my new toy. It's Rust Effect Paste. Three different colors, and it says to use all three with like a stipple brush to create a rust appearance. So let's try that. It's kind of textury. So I have some brown down there. We're going to add some yellow. 
I have no idea what I'm doing. But you're coming along on the journey, aren't you? Alright, I am going to dry this. See what happens. Looks pretty rusty and old and grungy to me. Yep, that's pretty cool. I'm grabbing my stays on, my black stays on. And I'm just gonna put some of that with the stays on. Nice texture. That is fun. Now this is the front page area of the book that we just did the four needle Coptic stitch in. I am going to put some tacky glue on there. Bring that rusty page back in. I'm going to clamp that down and let that dry. Alright, it's all clamped on there. We're going to let that dry. Alright, let's take those clips off. That's pretty fun, huh? Need to put something in there. So this book is not finished yet, and it is not going to close. It is going to be a standalone book like this, which I think is gorgeous. The front, the center, which is not done yet. We'll go through that when it is. This is the back, and the back of the back has our waterfall booklet on it. So it would be displayed like that. You can't see how it's going to be displayed. <laughs> but it is going to be displayed like that, standing up, so you can see all the moving parts. So go create, go play, go have fun. This was really a lot of fun to play with. I didn't know how I was going to save that book, but we did it. Yay, ta-da!